Miss Monica, Merry Christmas and all yours. Halas. Yes. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. And I have to say, I hope you're well today. It's our last briefing for, for a while. And before we start, I'd like to say uh, welcome to Karina Muslimova. It's a new addition to our correspondence family here uh, at the UN. She's joining us with Sputnik, yes? Very good, so welcome. Okay, the President of the General Assembly has started her day chairing the 64th plenary meeting at the J Hall today. This meeting is considering draft resolution and reports from several committees. The first item on the agenda was general and complete disarmament item 101. Member states took action on the draft resolution A-73-L10 slash slash entitled the preservation of and compliance with the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. The draft resolution received 43 votes in favor, 46 against, and 78 abstentions. After this action, the General Assembly is considering several other items uh, in, in this uh, morning uh, session, and you, are, you all uh, can follow uh, through webcast and also uh, on the UN journal for all the items. Mrs. Spinoza will meet later today at her office with the ambassadors of the Republic of Korea in Antigua and Barbuda, who are co-chairs, both of them, of the Steering Committee on Accessibility. The PGA will discuss the work forward. This meeting will also follow up on the launch of the Steering Committee, uh, you may recall, in late November, as part of the PGA's strategy for persons with disabilities. The committee is open-ended and functions on a voluntary basis composed of member states States, the UN Secretariat, and civil society organizations to promote accessibility at the United Nations premises. And as you know, the staff has flagged already, today is our last briefing for the year of 2018. So we will resume our noon briefings on the 2nd of January. And I would like to thank you all for our work together uh, since the pre President Maria Fernandez Pinoza took office uh, in September. Let me also take this opportunity to wish you a very happy holidays. I'm aware that uh, this month of September marks uh, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas. So I'm not aware of any other holidays, but I wish you a very restful time. Uh, if there is any relevant news, that's the important uh, part on the work of the PGA, we will update you on our website, PGA. Uh, UN.org, first of all, slash PGA, slash 73, but also uh, through email for any breaking news. And I look forward to meeting with you again in 2019. So from all of us at the PGA's office, happy holidays, and uh, may the new year bring uh, good news for all of us. Okay, thank you very much. I start with Michelle, and then afterwards I go to you. Go ahead, Michelle. technical issues. Um, I believe that the fifth committee may have reached some agreements last night on draft resolutions. When do you expect the GA to vote? The fifth committee was extended until today, 21st of, uh, of uh, December. If there is an update uh, on the action that is being taken, we're going to uh, give it to you free mail because I understand uh, it's being discussed. Yes. But thank you for your question. Go ahead. Yeah, it's Merry Christmas and Feliz Navidad. You did a good job. Mrs. Espinosa and you too, Veronica. And we wish to see you, the best for you. Merry Christmas and we'll see you next year. Thank you, i see you next year too. I think that's the last word. Okay, we end up on a very good note. Okay guys, lovely to see you again and until the 2nd of January. So yeah, stay well, next thank you. Christmas. Next year, yeah, and to you, take care. Okay.